going live. We're going. We're going live, please. you are. You are watching Feed. We are all apart. All connections are fragile. is a collaboration between New Frontiers, Oozing Gloop, and Artificial Intelligence. This project has mutated for its own survival. This is a live stream. This is a bedtime story. This is your companion. Be with this and join us in the frequencies of the void. We request that you make your own meaning. All sound and poetry has been generated by artificial intelligence. Let's hope this works. out of the way. Let's all have a good cry together.
Oh my gosh, today I am on the internet in bed, like I have been every day for the last two weeks. I don't know, I've had some ups and I've had some downs, and it's been quite difficult to be honest, but also at the same time, like, I'm actually feeling quite optimistic about it all. Now, now, now I've finished having my meltdown. My own company is a very difficult topic for myself. Feels a little bit like sometimes that maybe I'm not, but I realise that actually fundamentally, I am excellent on my own and I'm excellent by myself. And that it takes sometimes, sometimes to remember and realise that so that you really find yourself in a situation where you can sit and meditate and have a certain sense of peacefulness to that which you're doing. That's lovely. So, Isn't I, it just? You can't talk in the chat room this evening, but is there anything else that you might want to do? Ooh, well, there are some things that I want to do. Like, I'm on Facebook right now, and I'm quite enjoying that. And I've also been chatting with some people who are watching the live here. What happens if I get to the end? Ah. Refresh the link. So, yes, no, I think as well that I want to take some time to basically reflect on the processes that we're living in now, here, at this perfect universalizing moment of the 21st century, within which we find ourselves discussing and engaging with one single idea on every level of society. And that makes me feel really quite excited for the conversations that we could potentially be having. And are you able to still make art alone in your room? I am absolutely 100% able to make art alone in my room. Would you like to see some of the art I have been making? I think everyone would love to see your art. Oh my gosh, let me show you my box of special things. Yeah. Um, I just if we bring this round this is what I like to call my compression artifacts. And these is a certain form of an independent archiving process that I've undertaken to be able to deal with the many strains of which uh the as a person with a very questionable relationship to their mental health, has to experience, you see, these are all the scraps of every single time I ever moved house. And I couldn't tell if it was sentimental, receipts, little bits of papers, notes from lovers, or if it was something very important that I had to keep, like safety pins, or indeed if it was true trash. And so I couldn't tell whether or not these things sparked joy. I couldn't tell whether or not I should throw these things out. So I took them and I wrapped them up and I compressed them down into virtually nothing. And then basically just planned to open them up one day and see if I could remember what was going on inside. Would you like to see what's inside? I'd love to and I think everyone else would too, Clue. Oh, aren't you just dying with excitement? Well, there isn't really a lot else going on in social isolation, so you really have to make do with what you have. And for me, that's memories. Here, one moment, let me get my sharp object. Oof. Here. So this... This is Barbara, and it's the head of a sex doll. It was a head of a sex doll I took with me to Gagan in Berlin. And Barbara lived and had gone out and partied, and I took her out with me as well. 
And unfortunately, though, in the course of the night, Barbara popped and died. Barbara popped and died. And I reserved her head to use as a small case to keep all of my precious memories in. Now, if we just take this, we can spread this here. And if we just cut off the steel inside Barbara's neck, Oh, in fact, it just comes right off. You can find inside all manner of curious and exciting things. Which, here. Ooh. Look, this is what I keep inside the head of a sex doll that I keep inside my room. There's these small crumpled pieces of paper, this cardboard package. Can you see that nicely or not? No, you can't, can you? So if we take this and move this round to here and bring you up just like this, and then we bring this in down like this, we can now have a comfortable arena for examining what's inside the compression artifact. Here, like so. Now this is a piece of bubble wrap that felt very important at the time to keep, and this Oh my gosh, this is a piece of a bed sheet of the very first sheet that I ever brought when I moved to Berlin. I brought it because I liked the way that it had a series of green and black lines moving on it, creating a grid, which also moved through to create a certain almost tartan like pattern. Because I think the grids are particularly curious and particularly interesting. As you can see right now, I'm actually inhabiting a grid because right now I'm inhabiting a situation that is an image made up of a series of pixels. A series of pixels, each of which that have four 90 degree angles and four straight lines around them that come together to create a grid that is a pattern that sends its own limits to infinity. And you can see that this grid itself is a square that is set inside a live feed, that is set inside a gridded device that you're using to watch this live feed. And I really liked that on this bed sheet, and that's why I got that, because I only think of these things. I used to, oh, oh, sorry. Every now and again, I get a little bit top heavy and I overbalance. It goes with having a massive ego. <laughs> but here inside my compression artifact is also a small piece of blue ribbon from a party one time. And also as well, some red wool that I also, that at the time I was making a choker that made it look like my throat had been slit, which I wore out to a certain party where I also had a copper crown. And unfortunately, I lost that copper crown because a train came by me. And the train came by so fast that it knocked off the copper crown and it threw it down the side of the subway in Rathaus Neukirchen in Berlin. And um, I went back to go and get it at midnight and somebody had already jumped down onto the tracks, headed into the tunnel and stolen, stolen my crown. That's and that's terrible. something I haven't really thought about for a long time. That's just the wonderful pun. That sounds terrible, Glenn. It was super terrible. I'd lost an artwork. I'd lost an artwork to the city, but at the same time, somebody came back to take care of it. <laughs> hey, look, also as well, this is for the winter when I first moved to Berlin. It's a little flyer for stood block. Within this, as well, it makes me think about these ideas that we take the experiences that we're having and how we get wrapped down and we get pulled down, we get compressed into these objects. Because you see, the term compression artifact itself comes from the idea of data washing. And a data washing is a process where the H264 codec video compression is the thing that you're using right now to see this video itself, potentially, Good. suffers a certain kind of mistake. Yes. Would you like to hear a poem that's been generated by artificial intelligence about being alone 
I would absolutely, I would love to hear a poem generated by artificial intelligence about being alone. Nothing would please me more. I have a way of knowing what you need. For you are weak or be all alone. Footsteps on the dance floor echo. They found him gone alone. That we are not alone. Come on and say it out loud. I could live alone below the, below the table. I could walk on the moon now. Stand these steps alone. Live alone. Some way alone. I know I could never be alone. But what am I doing? But what am I doing? Show me through the dark. But here I am, all alone, heart, with that old radio star. I could live alone below the table. I could walk on the moon now. Stand these steps alone. Live some way alone. Cause nobody wants a last night alone. Then I could tell. I could live alone below the table. I could walk on the moon now. Stand these steps alone. Live some way alone. Poem generation five three three five one zero. Gloop, are you wondering what it's like outside? I'm desperately curious as to what it's like outside. I've not seen it in so long. Here's a weather report. Oh! Radical indifference in most regions this weekend, but certainly a silly start across much of Europe. Hope for science will continue to ease with lighter clickbait on Monday and Thursday. It'll probably feel a little unimpressive especially where we see some afternoon smugness. But first thing is rumbling across the east and a touch of privacy invasion frisks nagging down the east coast, bringing new voucher cards across the low-end borders into the northeast tech forums. One or two data rape dates over the Midlands, west coast and southern means as well, but for most it's a dry cough and a budget breakfast to begin with. The system will continue to suck balls through the day, It'll still feel wonky on the North Sea coast, and more of the cloud spilling beans in everyone. Some conspiracy theories, likely over the parts of the middle medium and into the east over scattering racism over southern shops and cafes. But for most places, much of the day will be dry and bright and winds continuing to ease. So by the afternoon, a feeling of confusion. While Thursday, double digits across the body Still, only single people across the highlands, but much drier for drugs as the sexuality healing falls slightly down to the south. Turning quite drab by the afternoon, with rain pissing in here, rain will become toxic through Friday evening. Some of it will be angry during the evening and furious by the end of the night, spreading into private parts of most regions. Advertising will sell a bit more snow over the hills, generally through the energy appropriation in from the south so slowly but surely turning to mould over the weekends. A dynamically normal start through to Saturday, with this line of ketamine extending down the spine of the country, bringing strikes to undo eastern areas. So some shitty headlines on Saturday morning, then we have gorgons most of Saturday, and at the moment artists and insects, insects looking up. But then we have another band of bullshit coming in from the north and yeast for the afternoon, and again the smell starting to strengthen as that's arrived.
Do you like to look at yourself, Gloop? I absolutely adore looking at myself. Almost as much as I love to look at daffodils. Gloop, do you know what the German word for daffodils is? You know what? I don't know what the German word for daffodils is. What could it possibly be? I think it's Narcissus or something like that, isn't it? No, wait, I do know this. It's, isn't it English Narcissus? Who could imagine an English Narcissus? Mm, who could imagine somebody else who could look so good in the mirror? Oh, yes. <sighs> mm. Here's an artificial intelligence poem about narcissism. Narcissus. That narcissus touched my narcissus, touched my heart. Oh, that's how narcissus touched my heart. Oh, that's how narcissus touched my heart. Oh, that's how narcissus touched my heart. I know narcissus will hear my prayers. I know narcissus will be my guide. When Narcissus was here, when I was here, I was here when it was here. <laughs> and Narcissus... And Narcissus was here when we were here. I was here when it was here. Well, I want, to see, I want my great-grandpa to see what Narcissus had to know. We knew all the answers with questions for all of us. The way Narcissus follows me home and Narcissus makes me feel so good. When Narcissus was here, when I was here, I was absolutely amazed the chemistry between was so unexpected. Narcissus asked me this question months before. When Narcissus was here, when I was here, I was here when it was here. A narcissist was here when we were here. I was here when it was here. Poem generated number 544147. Isn't it just so simply beautiful, the wonderful act of beholding yourself, or so to be held, to be holden to oneself, to be in a period of reflection, an activity with that divine notion known as oneself. Thank you for that beautiful poem. That's all right, Gloop. Gloop, do you think maybe it's time to talk mm. about mental health? I absolutely 100% believe that there is not a more relevant, more pressing or more important time to check in about your mental health, actually. My mental health is pretty much a roller coaster. At the same time, there's a few little stable things like diagnosis that help get into these things. I believe that actually in this time of a public health crisis with corona, we can think about other situations that are affecting us continuously on a day-to-day -day basis in ways that we aren't acknowledging due to the fact that it's not yet been normalised to discuss one's mental health in the same sense as one discusses one's physical that actually that we can begin to reflect to a certain extent on ways in which that we can discuss these things so check in i for example have just started taking 5 htp recently and it's divine it's a way of self-medicating that is not reliant on alcohol that you can get from the pharmacy not necessarily from the pharmacy from the supplement store and i do believe that. <laughs> Sorry, I can hear a child in the background. Yes. Anyway, but 5 HTP is simply wonderful. It's basically as well as seven. It's got. There was another antidepressant called glucoxacillin, which showed an 80% effectivity in treating uh, 
symptoms of depression, whilst 5-HTP showed a 73% effectivity. And so scientifically, or medically speaking, they were considered to be as effective as each other within this process, which basically, for me to get a handle on my depression, has been uh, fundamental and incredibly really useful. It's also as well as that basically is that I have a diagnosis of Asperger's or autism, and I think that we have a problem right now where you only experience or you only get provided with a autism diagnosis if you're having quite a severe problem in early childhood. And if you don't have quite a severe problem in early childhood, you don't get the diagnosis. But then the problem is, is that then you're left without a certain type of... I'm sorry, I'm just being very restricted right now. And I think that to be a bit more authentic with you, I need to shine forth a little bit. And... Oh. And just like, just let it go sometimes. You just need to let certain things go. And you need to push through and accept a certain aspect of yourself or your knowledge of yourself, a certain element of selfhood within this travel that will then allow you to be positive with your mental well-being and with mental well-being of those people around you, which I think is fundamentally vital for us to proceed together in this very exciting new epoch of the 21st century that we are only really now really seeing a radical shift in people's awareness of the possible politically, personally, and soon, I'm very sure, philosophically, at what point will we realise that coronavirus itself will contribute more to our century, potentially, than Plato or Aristotle? And I think that's really it. And I think that we need to understand that actually is that we are living with mental health symptoms the entire time. And we are living with people around us the entire time who have mental health problems, that have diagnostic problems, that have learning difficulties, that have these things, but do not have a diagnosis. And as a result, they generally get later on diagnosed in life with a personality disorder or just become a massive asshole. And it is often very difficult to know, does someone just have undiagnosed adult Asperger's or are they just a fucking asshole and sometimes sometimes it can be both oh just bring this oh and it is when we begin to acknowledge these things collectively as a society that we will understand ourselves our health and an effective set of strategies for us to move forward conscientiously oh together and it's when we start acknowledging a certain holistic nature of health a holistic nature of health both for ourselves for the planet environmentally socially and with the air qualities in cities along with our psychic and mental well-being that perhaps we can move past the global pandemic of assholeism that's been setting us at all points for i most certainly am beset by assholes and i'm fucking sick of it so Anyone could do a little bit more to make themselves more aware of who they are as a person so that I don't have to sit there and wonder about if I need to be providing sympathy for them on the basis of an undiagnosed or diagnosable mental health disorder. That would be simply lovely. Thank you very much. And that was my mental health check-in. It's just good sometimes to check in about your mental health and also get off your face. <laughs> Thank you for your positivity, Blue. Pardon? I said thank you for your positivity. <laughs> You're most welcome. Isn't it delightful? Isn't it just a gift? Artificial intelligence poem. But first, let's take a look at my nostrils.
Can you see that, Gloop? Oh, I can see that. Oh, my gosh. Hello. Welcome to your nostril. Oh, my God. There it is. That's what you breathe in and out for every single day. Good gravy, Miss Maybe. I'm breathing <laughs> right now, Gloop. Pardon? I'm breathing right now. You know, every now and again, I just really do like to sit down and take a really deep breath. And I like to breathe through my mouth even sometimes to do this, because I think that it's vitally important to do so, to really maximise potential of oxygen that is entering your body and also, and therefore, going to your brain and indeed your mind. And I think that it's really interesting to sit here and just breathe in 2020, to breathe through your mouth, to breathe through those teeth, because 2020 is codified with the tarot card, with the 20th tarot card, which is judgment. And that is the birth of a new consciousness. And that card, judgment, is codified with the Hebrew letter resh, which is also another word for tooth. So indeed, we are living very much in the times of the teeth. And when Freud says, when one dreams about one's teeth falling out, it is to do with the sense of a loss of certainty and understanding or a loss of directly having control over your life. And indeed, that is what we are seeing now, globally, economically, and certainly nationally, is a loss of teeth. And it's this idea of what is permanent about us and what holds us in place. And so as a result, I would really enjoy it. We could all just take a moment to breathe. Ooh. This is a poem about compost by artificial intelligence. Help, it is to compost when all is well told. They catch the last train and leave her there to compost. Your day is over. The rain has gone. And you left you here to compost. Will you let me compost? Will you let me compost? Colour me your blue. I hope you let it compost in time. The hell you call home when you compost in heart like this. Cheers to a vacant house, a steady job and some sales. Like we compost out the brain. Like we compost out the brain. Will you let me compost? Will you let me compost? Colour me blue. I hope you let it compost in time. Eat to eat. To eat the prime compost. Will you let me compost? Will you let me compost? Colour me your blue. I hope you let it compost in time. Poem generated number 540083. Isn't it just so very interesting to see things fall apart? To see things just compost. To just decay downwards into a seething mass of maggots, into a seething pile of insects, of living trash, the maggot, the filth, the fly, that itself is an equal part of the miracle of evolution and conscious life as the brain that you're using to conjure that sense of rejection right at that very point in time. Built for pity, bugs 
in the system. Go, amateurism and ugliness. Back to flow. Remote jokes. Hearts in mouths. Windowsill stars. Going is out. New predictions for alternative futures. Together in meta narratives. Quantum connectivity conundrum. Lines doing lines. Jobs for memory. Jazzy policies. Universal basic stuff. Two steps away from nothing. Three steps away from it all. Trust, trust, trust. What's your tripping point? Changing how we are. New appendages for all. A new radical openness, each inside the other. Heard do moonity. Sail now over. The Guinness Book of Compost. You are, are you who you are? Statutory rights, right? Data exhausted. Losing as a way of life. What's the antimatter? 99% in your head. Our anonymous interim. Paying for the sky. Eyebrows in exile. The vastness of everything. Tiny exchanges charge charging the heart. Buildings making faces. A grip on the river. Invent nothing, steal everything. All the projects of the future, now. Pressure, underneath. Funny terror. Hope for science. Still there, Gloop. Are you okay? Oh, I've come back. Hi. Yeah, sorry, pardon. Have you managed to clean your apartment while you've been indoors all this time? I have been going through a psycho magical process of self dedication and clarification within this time period of removing everything that is not strictly functional does not spark joy in my life. That's wonderful. It's also very much the, uh, uh, oh yes. Would you like to see something new? If I would like what, sorry? Oh. <laughs> it just needs to just, what? Bring, bring the action home. Bring the action like Britney Spears declaring her love and inventing fucking Marxism. Ha! <laughs> but to bring that action. Hey, so something else that I like to keep in my life that very much is here that reminds me of things is this sword. And this sword is a specifically useful device and a particularly useful thing to carry around in your life because it reminds of yourself a sense of purpose, a sense of purpose, action, warring and fighting that is the quest of consciousness and to be consciously minded here as an individual 
within, like I said before, the 21st century. And this sword itself represents the piercing power of my will. But I also, as well, like to think Rahul is very much the point of it all. The point at which we find ourselves, the point in which we find ourselves here, stuck within a series of systems that are uh, that dominate us, that we are also complicit within that domination. And there is a certain blaze that I use to cut through all of this shit. And that is the notion. That is the notion, or indeed the blaze, of commucracy. Commucracy is something that keeps me sane in my self isolation. Commucracy is something that gives me hope for an ideal of the future. Commucracy is something that I consider to be a new utopian point that we can all aspire for. And that is communist democracy. We are all talking now about how fundamentally things cannot go back to being what they were. But we also know that unless we come up with a new political lexicon, a new way of working and a new way of living, thinking and being, we will return precisely back to those patterns we knew. Thus, I propose this. Com you crassy. Communist democracy and this is something that i believe we can use to create for ourselves a new system of definitions of meaning a new language of political jargon that is not subject to the previous problematics of the 20th century itself has been and i think that communicracy could be as at least infectious as coronavirus if not more so just say it now Communicracy, communist democracy. It's never existed before. Nobody knows what it means. And it's up to us to be the authors of its fulfillment. We can create a new system for ourselves to live by. We can create a new system of economy, of exchange, a new system of representation, a new model of meaning. And that is what this time deserves because quite frankly, all previous modes of sensibility and the sensible have been worthless and accomplished nothing, basically, other than to leave us trapped in this pandemic, trapped in this... Naomi, Naomi Klein would say, in our coronavirus capital, self-isolated from one another, what we need fundamentally is a new principle of universality to bring us all together. Just like the gold coin that has the head of the king stamped on it, or indeed the gold circle of that crown that is upon the head of the king, that wields such a very big, long, powerful sword. That sword that is indeed the point of it all. And this coronavirus-induced quarantine of self-isolation is such a perfect time <clears throat> to hone and sharpen your blade. The blade, at least that my blade is called, come you classy. How will you cut through all the bullshit of new modern life post re-engagement? Because everything can, will, and fundamentally is going to change. And that's what keeps me warm at night. Look, it's time for another weather report. I do love the weather. Onesies in most recent regions this weekend and plenty of alternative futures across much of Europe. Hope for screaming will continue to drop with an increase in ugliness and amateurism on Monday and Thursday. We'll probably feel a little kinder, especially when we hear some silence. Novel social posts across the East and a touch of voluntary privacy invasion bringing down the East Coast brings LOLs across the low end armpits into the Northern Freezer forums. 20 psychic nosebleeds over the Midlands and South Coast, and solo techno as well. But for most, it's a dry night in with carbs to begin with. The system will not continue through the day, and it'll still feel vulnerable from the North Coast with the more of the Google warning. Do you like shopping, group? I absolutely adore shopping. What it's like one of my favourite things to do. Here. Oh my gosh, wait, are we going shopping? 
Oh, you shouldn't something. surprise me like this. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, I've not even finished drink. Oh. It's all yours, Oh Claire. my god. It's all yours. Oh, it's all mine. Oh, it really, I can have whatever I want. Oh my gosh, I want this, I want that, I want the baked beans, I want the fucking toilet roll, I need some hand sanitizer. Okay, give me the hand sanitizer right now. And then also, oh my god, you know I am vegan, but I think that tonight I might keep with some fried. Mm, no, I think I want to keep it with veganism actually. That's a self discipline and a form of self care that's quite important. But that said, I want to buy all this shit. Why don't oh, you just enjoy You know, it, sometimes Clint. I just get a bit just overwhelmed. Just immerse by it all. yourself. Immerse yourself in the products, Clint. Just enjoy it. Go with it. Oh. Mm. I need to see your oh. face, Clint. I need to see you enjoy all of this. Oh. 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 Oh my God. It's like a dream. This is your dream. It's like. Do you remember supermarkets? Do you remember places? Do you remember when we go, do things, engage with things? Just have things. Wasn't it wonderful? Wasn't it idyllic? Wasn't it just boring at the time? And now we look back and we just don't even realize how lucky we were. We were then in with these moments, these commodities of these goods on shelves that we could just grab and go for and get however we wanted to in any way that we liked before the social lockdown, before the quarantine, before the hamster calvin. Hamster calvin is what they say in Deutschland. Kind of hamster And that's when you buy all of the things to stockpile some sort of doomsday fanatic in your kitchen. I did engage a small amount of stockpiling. Do you feel bad about that? Well, it was just two packets of a vegan oat biscuits and a big bottle of Jägermeister, so not particularly. But also as well, there was a certain sense of like, I kind of enjoy the sense of like having a stock I can eat if I need to, as I don't want to. And regardless of how hungry I feel, how sad I feel, how I <laughs> I won't end up not having food because I'm too sad to go to the supermarket. Which is quite a nice experience really, and I'm really enjoying the social quarantine for that sort of like moment. It's actually really helping with a certain sense of forward planning, of like an awareness. Tired yet, Gloop? Exhausted by any of this? Why don't you go and lie down? Ever so. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yes. Careful, Gloop. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's much. It's poem about curtains. Mm. And so the curtains close on my little circle. Oh yeah, the word is out, the curtains are drawn. Take your tie up and walk out the door. Sun shining through the curtains. It was raining on our day. When the world comes calling, when the curtains are closing, raise your drink. Dare to look back upon your glory days. Curtains dim, feast on. One more sip, one more drink, and you wake up. It will all be revealed. Close the curtains, 
and lock the doors. Though no one remembers your name, you play a show in town. When the world look back upon your glory days, curtains dim, feast on. One more sip, one more drink, and you wake up. Stepped out the only house, there was still standing. The curtains hung like flowers in the air. When the world comes calling, when the curtains are closing, raise your drink, dare to look back upon your glory days. Curtains dim, feast on, one more sip, four, zero, one, five, two. It's time for us to go soon, using Gloop. Mm-hmm. You oh, now. really? It's been so nice having you over. We'll see you again tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be great. Oh my God, we'll I've my friends well. and people and things. Oh my God, we are going to have a chat room tomorrow, aren't we? We can talk with the loiter. Reckon with the loiter. I do love talking. Babies, take care. Don't catch coronavirus feed. now. You have been watching Feed. Take care of yourselves. And talk to each other. This project has been created by New Frontiers in collaboration with Oozing Gloop and Artificial Intelligence for the Spy on Me Festival 2 at the How Hebel Am Ufa. Goodbye and have a great evening.